Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Breaking the Silence. My name's Luke. My name's Kim. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking to Ali and Sadie Key. Yes. And they are doing Hauntex TV Yes, and they've been YouTube. going, they've been going for a while. Sorry to interrupt you there, Luke. Oh, it's very okay. rude of me. No, um, they've been going on for a while. Um, I mean, I've known them since I've been on the scene. Yeah, yeah. It's really weird because it's like we've been on the same path, but we've not crossed roads. Mm. But then, if we've not crossed roads, we've not been on the same path. So I'm trying. I'm just talking a little bit. I think we've got some similar kind of stories as well. We've got similar stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah where we met and where they, yeah. Ali and Sadie met. Mm -hmm. And it'd be good to get his experience, get Sadie's experience. It's really um, weird because like I know them, yeah. but I've never actually spoken to them. Huh? So I've spoken to them on Facebook. Time. I've never actually met them in person. Yeah. So this will be. Uh, but I feel like I know loads about them yeah, yeah. already. It's about, Facebook, isn't it? It's weird, isn't it? Facebook, you all know YouTube. each other, but you <laughs> don't. This is going to be the first time actually speaking. Yeah, yeah. But that's how the paranormal is, isn't it? Sure is. Know, everyone, so. uh, everybody knows everyone without me meeting each other. So yeah. we thought we'd uh, get them on tonight and have a chat. Mm. See where they started. See where they're going. See what they've done. See where they've been. Just, just general. Pan paranormal chit chat yeah. really. And I know that Ali has the ability to actually communicate with spirits and he does a lot of readings. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with yeah. that side of things so I'm really interested no, you never to know. see what he... you want tonight. A reading night. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll so um, yeah what's he, he's done some stuff I can tell you haven't we? We've got, we've got some yeah we've got that yeah we've got some questions. So. I wonder if Sadie has the ability, I think she might have. Oh we'll soon find out won't we? Have to ask her. But yeah, should be interesting. Yeah, well. Yeah. Well, if they're gonna um, meet up with them more as well and do a bit of investigating with them and just get yeah, them out and do some stuff. Yeah, little collab. That would be. Yeah. Um, so if anyone else is interested in doing that with us, just hit us up. The us. <laughs> yeah, we're open yeah, to we'll go work with anyone. So. If you want to come on this podcast as well, do do the same as we're doing tonight. You're more than welcome to. Just like I say, drop us a message and we'll come on for a chat. Yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah. Shall we give him a call? Shall we give him a call? Shall we do it? Hello, Hello, Ali and Sadie. How are you? Hello. Hi guys. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, are you? Yes. Very good. Very good. So yeah. Good, good to you see you guys. Any questions that we've got? <laughs> I hope they're easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you always that, say that. This is why we don't do podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of a beer all night, haven't we, with these questions? <laughs> hey, hey. This is this is the first podcast, proper podcast we've done together as Hontex TV as well. Aww, yeah. We usually just we usually just say nah, it's all right. No. Uh, why no. is that? Why is that? You know what? It's time, right? It um because we we both we both work uh, during the day, um, yeah. and you know what it's like when you go kind of like kind you of get like, home from work. It's, oh, yeah. You, know, yeah. you do this, you do that, and then it's like. But also, it's the without <laughs> how do you say it without being. Um, it's the time difference sometimes. Mm. It's the time yeah. difference. Yes, with, it is. Because when yeah. the Americans come in and say, "Hey, man, I want you to be on our our it's podcast," ridiculous times. you're like, "All oh, right, um, okay, yeah." What time? And they're like, five p.m. Like it works out to be five p.m. UK time, and it's like, yeah. "No, can't do yeah. that." And it's like, "What about uh, eleven p.m. UK time?" Well, no, I'm not going to do that either. You know, what I mean, it's it's just one of these. But when cool people ask you, <laughs> do you want to be on it? Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's one of these. You just think to yourself, do you know what? Why not? Yeah. 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 It might be a bit rusty, but. Oh, it's all right. We've not I'm, been I'm, doing I'm, it. I'm no good anyway. I'm, so... I'll probably start structuring and get, get a bit new, new words. What a, what a yeah. so. <laughs> Rusty's good. Rusty's good. Yeah. yeah. It's natural. Right. Easy. Wrong. You fire away with these questions, then. Yeah. You, ready? Ready? you better. You ready for it? Yeah. Go on, and I'll let you go first. Right. Question one. <laughs> Where does it all start, up, you two guys? Then. Right. Separately or. Can we get separately collective? if you want. Yeah. We'll separately, yeah. we'll do, we'll we'll do it together. Then together. Yeah. Okay. How long have you got? Well, um, <laughs> 40 minutes. 40 minutes. You're asking, yeah. 40 minutes. You're, quick. you're asking a talker. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mike can be really quick. Um, well, with me, okay, I've been actively, 
And when I say actively, investigating wise, actively, not just having an interest, right? But actively involved within the paranormal, so paranormal, paranormal investigating ghost hunting since 2007. At the time, I was, um, oh, I was, I was, I was working for Morrison's actually at the time uh, in Dundee in Scotland, and um, I, I managed to wrap a couple of people into uh, wanting to go ghost hunting. Um, and at the time, I had a, a really good friend actually. Um, he's still a friend, Kyle. Um, Kyle Mann, his name is. He's from Dundee, and. Uh, I used to go with, with him because I got on really well with Kyle and he just loved ghost hunting and that. So we went to silly places, like, you know, the, the, not silly places, but you know what I mean, like cemeteries. Um, managed to get actually the little theatre in Dundee for a Halloween one time and ended up on the radio. I was really excited about that, um, as you can imagine. Um, but uh, then I met uh, an awesome trans medium spiritualist minister um, from uh, Perth in Scotland. And uh, they, they came on one of my uh, investigations. And then the next thing, I was uh, in a mediumship development circle um, because I've had experiences when I was young. I've had uh, trauma since I was, well, I had, I, well, they say, if you have trauma, especially to the head or anything like that, at a young age or if I can ignite or what, how would you put it, to not just ignite, but speed up a process within a sixth sense, in a sense, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, it's like that trauma, something ignites something, and, and then next thing it's open. So I was adopted, you see, at uh, three years old. I was in an orphanage at uh, one years old. Um, and I unfortunately had trauma to the head. Um, cut that out if you want if it's too much information uh -huh. <laughs> kind of thing you don't like when i why, why do you not like that why do oh, right. it okay <laughs> just, <laughs> but it's just truth right um but my mom and dad sent me to a private school and in that school there's me as you could imagine talking right yeah. talking over <laughs> um telling everybody at school that my mom's just had a baby my mom couldn't have children so there's me saying, my mum's just had a baby. I'm, and her name's Wendy, right? And everyone, all oh, right, oh, uh, Alistair's talking, oh, da, 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 da. storyteller, blah, 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 blah. In my 20s, I find out that I have a biological sister named Wendy. Oh, wow. Aww. That's cool. It's weird. Yeah. That's weird. It's weird, but it's cool. I, <laughs> it is weird because I, I, knew, but I knew then I was connecting to something. Yeah. How could I know that? How could I know that at six years old? Yeah. I couldn't know that. I, I, how, how could I possibly know that? I, well, you're not going to know that um, because you're not told about that. I, I didn't know I was actually, well, the thing is, well, was I fully aware of being adopted at three years old? Possibly not. Possibly, I don't know. Um, it's one of these things. Yeah. Um, but then at about 10, 11 years old at Melrose Abbey in Scotland, and uh, I seen a monk, grey, mm. hood, went, oh, kind of thing. Mm. And he's now who I know as Father Joseph, who's one of my spirit team. Oh, and, wow. yeah, uh, yeah. and it's absolutely nuts. But uh, then all of a sudden, you know, I went through a bit of a, a weird patch in life and everything like that, um, where I, I just couldn't understand things or anything like that. So I went a little bit kind of uh, derailed a little bit, <laughs> you say. Um, and um, it wasn't until uh, a psychologist said to me, uh, have you ever heard of, uh, you know, parapsychology, ESP? And, and I'm thinking, what are you talking about? What's mm -hmm. that? Do you know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, boom, you start researching, you start having a look, you know, um, yeah. and then, that's where it kind of like the interest, I suppose, came from. Um, yeah. I've just, I've just, I've just realised um, as well um, recently that the house I grew up in used to be a funeral parlour. 
So oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Which I was like, yeah. which I was like, thank you so much for telling me now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And now I understand why I had so many weird dreams yeah. and strange <laughs> times kind of thing. Um My very friends. within that, you know, seeing things that I, I shouldn't be seeing and dreaming of. Uh, nuclear bombs and stuff like that and wow. you know, weird weird things um so yeah i then just as i say went into mediumship development in 2000 and late 2007 early 2008 um and then became oh well, i did the you know, did the whole circuit because you've got to do you know you, you do your free readings and everything like that you don't just go out and just do readings you know you, you you've got you know, you're not told, I suppose, I suppose I was told, I was kind of, you know, when you are going to be ready or whatever kind of thing, because um, you have to do test readings, you have to do this, that kind of thing, before you can say you are a legit kind of, you know, yeah. um, whatever the word is, fledgling, whatever it is, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> medium, do you know what I mean? So, I uh, obviously, things like um, the churches as well, I've been involved with a couple of, uh, not my, not my scene, not my scene mm-hmm. it may be uh, someone else's scene but it's never been my scene um but then doing the pubs the clubs you know the, the the table work the platform work all that kind of thing going to people's houses doing all the parties and everything like that and then i'm moving closer to um england because of being on psychic tv on sky tv uh, FreeSat and Freeview at the time, and it was also on. <laughs> this is where people, I guess, people laugh and go, "Oh, what were you a sumo, re- sumo wrestler?" It's like, no, it was something called Sumo TV, <laughs> and uh, that went <laughs> as far as the South Pacific. Um, so it's like it was Sumo TV, F- FreeSat, Freeview, and Sky Double Eight Six, and I worked on there um, on uh, over about over forty live shows very lucky to have met um I, I, well one of my good friends at uh, patsy um patsy duffy um she was I, I i just got on with her from day one kind of thing and probably the only one on psychic today that i really got with really to be fair um like no no that's 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 unfair because uh there's simone and I, liz king's very very good friend of mine as well um it, it was a great experience you know, to do live television. Could you imagine me doing live television? You know, <laughs> I, had to have, I had to have a lot of um, media training. You know, Ali, oh, you can't say that. Ali, oh, God. <laughs> you know, because known to be a bit of a live, live, not a live wire, but you know what I mean? It's just I'm a free spirit, am I? It's one of these. Uh, if I'm, you answered all your questions all in one. I'm like Marmite. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm like Marmite. You know what I mean? I guess it's one of these things there. Uh, Buy it. I like more money. Well, there you go. That's, that's all that matters, isn't it? Yeah. That's our 40 minutes <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how all kind of um, thing it, uh, one of them, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mine's a lot, lot shorter. A lot okay. shorter. So then you'll be able to move on to the next question. I first started in, I think it was around 2009, 2010. And me and my friend Lucy, we decided to go on a ghost hunting event to the galleries. Yeah. That was my first ghost hunt. Wow. And from then. Great place, that. Yeah, absolutely amazing. You've never done the galleries of Justice, have Never. No. no. Oh, God, I did love it. Mm. Yeah. Too expensive. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. We, yeah. Just, we just paid, just like paying guests, went on to an event, yeah. and then that was it. From that, I was hooked. Mm. And we started doing our own little thing. We've got a cemetery that's quite well known near her is called Monk's Kirby. So yeah. Nights up at Monk's, do you know Monk's Kirby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we spent a few nights at Monk's Kirby and then that's when I got in with another group and yeah. it was basically, but we just did houses. So it was oh, like oh, yeah. houses and we did, what's the one in Leicester? Um, Gainers. Gainer, Gainers, yeah. yeah. So that was <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> back to the Gainers house. This is going back in two. You can imagine that again. About 2009, 2010. So yeah. that's where oh. we all started. Oh, cool. oh, and and then, how did you two come together? Here we go. Uh, so, so wait a minute. You, I'll tell you, story you, see, you see me. You see me. 
uh, and a, a picture of me, at least. Um, no, you've seen a picture of me whilst working at Spookfest 2012 with Derek Akora, Denise Mott, um, Barry John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there was others there. We become friends on Facebook, oh, don't we? Anyway, yeah. for what? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I I know. Know. <laughs> no, but you you question. see me a, you see me in a picture, and it was with Kevin, Kevin Bowen. Bowen. Kevin Bowen. Do you know, remember the Bowens? Hi, Kev. If you're watching. Yeah. 2013. Right. Yeah, we got yeah. together 2013. When you come on to one, of I the came on to a, an event of yours that, as a guest medium, I'm. At Strelly Hall. I was there. I was there that night as a guest. No. I was. Yeah, I was. Really? Yeah, you. I were. Honestly, I were. It's just what I mean. It's weird. It's like, and, I, and I had blue hair. You did. You had blue hair, but I wasn't in but your you guys' team. That question. That was the night ah. we got together. Yeah, that was the yeah. night. There you go. I was there. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was also... I was also working at Morrison's in 2007. Oh, my God. Not in Scotland, then. No. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Do you know yeah, what? that's how we got together. And you guys then did your own events, didn't you? You then set up the haunting. No, so I already had the haunting. Yes, you did, yeah. I already had the haunting. Um, <laughs> and yes. then, obviously, we got together and Ali come on board with the haunting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that's exactly how it happened. Yeah, and we went on to create sellout events, just not we in did. Nottingham. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. No, we, we did. did. We, we didn't did. do we any did. in Nottingham. No, we no didn't. not in Nottingham. No, that's yeah. We're, 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 we're weren't allowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not did we? No. <laughs> did you do any of that? Oh, I did that. Then yes. Come on board, yes. I did that. Mm. We weren't mm. alone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you miss events? Do you know what? Oh, don't get her started with events. Guess, we spoke about this. Well, mm. I spoke about it. Ali's probably just. She would like to about. do events again because she misses. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know what she's talking about. Right. She misses not just interacting with me. Yeah. <laughs> when I did, when we did events. When I did events. <laughs> but we did events. Um. I got to the stage. My belly is a big deal, by the way. Shush. <laughs> I got to the stage that I we weren't investigating because she's too busy pleasing everybody yep. else. Everybody wants yep. to do Ouija boards, table tipping, seances. And, and everybody wants I wanted to properly investigate. To That's what I wanted yeah. to do. And I got fed up with just people pleasing constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I and get that. Like, that's kind of like get rid of a big event didn't we i think we did Ash 12 prison was that one of the last um, ones yeah one of them yeah and then we kind of wrapped it up we literally did that till 5 a.m as <laughs> the years have gone on again i kind of miss people I yeah kind of miss the engagement when, you, know when you get mean? stuck with me during yeah. lockdown <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a, kind of the same position where we, we, we was like we'll, we'll stick a ple people please yeah. and then we, we couldn't do yeah. constant on doing our own thing but now we, we'll we'll hire somewhere now, and we'll just like get like other, other investigators, and then they'll just yeah. do yeah. Work, basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you kind of that share location. the cost. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's so many times where I've like I've stomped my feet, and like oh, I've had enough of this. I don't want to do the yeah. paranormal anymore. Paranormal yeah. anymore. And yeah. then the next day, I'm like, well, I do really. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. the passion's there. Yeah, that's it. You can't break away from it. No, you and can't. I don't think I ever will. No, I don't think we would yeah. either. Yeah. Definitely. And you'll, you'll, I love it. You'll I always... get bored of it, and honestly, I get fed up. And mm -hmm. you go out and you you get no evidence, but there's something's like, well, come on, we've got to go again. We've it's captured one it. thing. We've, we've captured one big thing. Yeah. In all the years, yeah. oh, what big one. thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's sure. that's how it should be yeah, though, sure. because if you come on and say, no, we got this, we got that, we got this, I'd never believe people that are like that because I, yeah. I, when you do it yourself. You know, it's very rare that something yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. But the really, only reason why we stop doing events as well, by the way, is it's not for the reason that some people think that I thought that I was going to become, well, we were all, we were going to become big TV stars, by the way, with Helpine being haunted. That's not the reason. That's it's another story. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> another story. Um, 
Yeah. That's, that's another question. Well, that'll be rare. <laughs> that's yeah. another. <laughs> but, but it was the, simply the fact of it was a lot of organisation, right? I, it took a lot of time with advertising. It took a lot of time to um, not just, you know, like from, from <laughs> throwing up places to not beg them, but just to be, please let us have this venue. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, having to jump through hoops for six months for one specific venue, which we were so, so grateful and lucky to get because no other paranormal team <laughs> were allowed back in there um, due to a bad experience the owner had with, with the team. Um, no names mentioned mm -hmm. at all. Um, yeah. But it's very much where um, it became... Not a hassle. It just was. It was just time to do something different, yeah. you know. And it just so happened at the time, I had just created Helpline Being Haunted and pitched it to uh, UK TV to really. Was that TV. a question? That was a question. That is going to be a question. I was going to ask what happened with that. What? What? Well, the thing is, you can see all this on Vimeo. By the way, Help I'm Being Haunted. Oh. That was my working title for it. Help I'm Being Haunted. Right. I had no idea. And, I, you know, people say, you can't see it coming. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Do you know what I mean? But it's very much where I didn't see this coming at all. But um, he then said, I gave it to them. They watched it because I was keeping an eye on it on Vimeo, how many people are watching it. And they did a screening and everything. Like that. We then did a screening, by the way, a private screening and got people's views on it. Yeah like reviews and feedback, and we gave that to Really TV. Said, hey, how about that? Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I can't remember his name. It was Dave. Oh, Dan, was it Thomas? No, Someone Thomas. Thomas, anyway, I don't know. But um, give it all to him. He then comes back and goes, can you give us 12 episodes? Mm -hmm. at, <laughs> at, this, at this high standard, and to get the guy to edit it all, you know? No, we can't. We can't. It's gonna cost yeah. about it's gonna cost about well, six yeah. grand per mm. episode to make. Yeah. You know I mean? So everyone gets paid and the, the real guys, you know, the proper filmmakers get paid and the editor and everything yeah. gets yeah. paid. I mean, I produced it, I starred in it, but and created it. But it's one of these, you've got to see everyone right, don't you? And, and yeah. it's yeah, and you do 12, we can't do 12. So no. you just went, oh, that's a shame, blah, 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 and it got left. So when you said oh, it gets kind of boring in the paranormal, like we've started expanding our like, beliefs and thoughts and everything. We've, we've been going out yes. looking for, looking, going to the woods, looking for fairies, Bigfoot, like cryptids. We've been investigating that, aliens, just yep. fairy aliens. Just... Fairies, by the way. Yeah. There, there. Have you, have you seen the uh, what's it on Netflix? Fairy tale. I've seen that guy on Facebook on YouTube. No fairy tale. It's no, called the true, story, the, of the true the story of the fairies. In from. No, I've seen that one. Chudley Chutney or where is it? Okay. Some somewhere in England. Not the guy in the woods, is it? Um, no, it was a family. It was in the was it in the fifties? Yeah, the two, the oh, girl. Yeah. And, they, and they said they seen fairies at the, the sisters. The sisters, weren't they? And you can actually well, go no. to the place. You can you actually go to the place. So we need to go to the place. I know a couple. I know a couple of. I know a couple of fairies. Fairies. Show you this when you go when you read your Probably, but I'll show everyone what you're I can't see it. it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's the Fairies. Google that and you can still go to the brook now. And if you read that stuff, well, not now. Yeah, it's got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you follow, have a look at that stuff. It's an amazing story. Yeah. It's a true story. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, hey, next question. Right, so we're back. Right, so Sadie, do you have psychic abilities then, or is it? Not at all. No. She says. Do you know what? 
So she says, well, you've, yeah, you've got something. I think everybody because, has. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe that as well. There's, there's no special thing of fairy dust being sprinkled when you're born. You're going yeah. to be a psychic or know. anything. You're going to be a medium. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got an ability there. I see you, you, you've got something because you've said stuff and it's gone. And you've gone, see, told you. Like that. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't obviously class myself as anything like no psychic me no not at all i yeah, always say yeah. people always ask me this and i'll say i'm out investigating unless something comes and smacks me on the head i've not got a clue yeah, so, yeah I, I don't make out that i'm this that because of, no i'm not but oh, it's no, not yeah. needed all the time yeah on an investigation yeah. it's, not, yeah. it's not needed and this is what people think people think being a psychic medium is cool mm. it maybe used to be cool years ago it's not cool it's not it's not it, you know i see a lot of people who think I'm a paranormal investigator. Now I become, I'm a paranormal investigator. Now I become a medium. And that's mm. above. It's not. No. Mm. It's not. I bet, you, I bet when, when you're on these ghost hunts as well, you're like, oh, well, shouldn't, shouldn't you have known that kind of thing? I bet you get that a lot. Do you know what? I get. You I, kind of switch off a little bit, don't you, on ghost hunts? Yeah, because I'm bloody filming the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> I've got a no camera way. in one hand. I'm not a, <laughs> yeah. So when we go the out, echo box in another hand. When we go out know? investigating, we it is purely investigating, isn't it? You don't yeah. really go into like the the mediumship no. side of anything. It is Obviously, just during events, during events and private investigations, we've done. Of course, I I have done that. I've done demonstrations of trans mediumship. Like mm. proper trans mediumship, though you're not like transing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, like yeah. properly in controlled environment and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I've done a lot. You, you know, through the events we did, I did a you know spiritual um, and psychic opening, opening all the seven main chakras, and um, to hopefully other people get a, a personal experience kind of thing um, themselves. Um, so we did all that during events and all that. But when you're doing like you're filming for YouTube now and you're doing it, you're just wanting to, I just want to investigate. Yeah. Just want to, yeah. I, don't, I mean, a couple of times I'll pick up stuff, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. If something comes to me or an energy comes to me from the non-physical world, as I like to call it, um, because that's the way I've now been interpreted the whole, it's like my everything's expanded mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. I've gone, you know, we're, we're going up levels here. Um, that's how I see things and um, going to the next stage or the level, the next gear kind of thing within the work I do kind of thing. Um, and, or, or the connection I have, should I say, um, not just the work I do, you know, it's, it's very much where the non-physical world, that's what I ask for. You know, if there's anyone from the non-physical world, you know, instead of, is there any, spirit here or is there any we are the spirit in my opinion do you know what i mean like we're just on a human physical journey so we are in the physical world so we ask is there anyone from the non-physical world here with us you know and give us evidence of the non-physical world and yeah. that's where I, that's where i think as well the aliens there's a connection with the non-physical world um and all that kind of stuff it's a bit i know weird um mm. but it's very much where I don't believe, unless it's a private investigation and you're there to offer help to get yeah. to to understand a spirit, like and help I'm being haunted. We helped yeah. the lady. We helped the person. We I I I brought messages through, knowing absolutely nothing about the house, you know, nothing about the person or anything like that, and just coming in and delivering what was there. Because if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. I'm. But I don't believe it's it's handy to know the hot spots and the not spots. It's handy to know where, you know, if it's flat, instead of mm -hmm. standing there like a, a bunch of kind of whatever's, you know, scratching about in the dark, you know, yeah. um, it's handy to have somebody there who goes, I get a sense of that corner, or I get a sense of this or that. That's fine. Do you know what I mean? But it's not all the time because I always say it's not needed every single time. And who wants a medium really in this day and age? You know, some people like them and they, and, and they like having one uh, there. But I think for, for our channel as well, you don't want to be listening overloading to, it. Yeah, with like mediumship because no. obviously like people are going to say, well, of course they read that before they went. You know, to me, uh, it's, like, it's like to go and just investigate and 
that's, that's it, really, without the mediumship. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's where I started, investigating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We kind of leave that part. that part out, don't we? But obviously, and it's like it, it gets it gets clarity for everyone else as well, not just you as well. Well, the thing I is, though, there's 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 yeah. some sometimes I can say I can say something and something happens, like in those and like in those caves mm -hmm. when I said something, you know, this that, and then it ha something something happens, just like at Hull when I start picking up about a gentleman, and then it happened. You know, mm -hmm. some things can trigger, but it's knowing phrases it's knowing what to say or a trigger you know and that's understanding i suppose the non-physical world it's understanding the spirit energies it's just understanding energies specifically yeah. because mm. energy is everything and and everything is energy mm. Definitely. metaphysics you know what i mean it's it's the law of attraction do you know yeah. what i mean it's uh, everything is energy yeah. absolutely you and know. that's what I was saying in that one where I go for me UFO once and all that because everything's connected. Yeah, that's how we, that's how we can connect to everything maybe. connected. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, my thing with aliens and uh, the non-physical world is: do aliens come from the non-physical world? Mm. You know, because the ones I've seen that are um, what I've seen, you know, you know what I mean. But the ones I've, you know, all the, the aliens we've seen. No, but there, there. Well, there, <laughs> there is. There's this one guy that uh, you've probably seen it from Area 51, he used to work there, he was on his dying bed in America kind of thing, he was, he was, he was dying or something and he did an interview and he had pictures of these aliens and yeah. it looked like they had armour or something or metal attached to them with this, what's to say is that's not armour because they don't have a physical body, mm. so they have to create a physical body, do you know what I mean, to then yeah, visit yeah. the physical world or whatever, so who's to say because my opinion, my my belief and everything that we all come from the non-physical and yeah, we yeah. come into the physical to have physical life and then we leave to be in the non-physical again. Mm. Good way to think when you that. actually think about it, it does actually make sense. Yeah, it's good, yeah. It. Even Disney's made films about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that film is Soul. Mm. So they all came from the non-physical world. No, oh, I've seen that one. It's, yeah. um, we we watched it with our granddaughter, didn't we? Um, the Brook, didn't we? What? So I can't remember. It. it was on Disney Plus or something like that. Is Maybe it? you watched I'll it. I'll look for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've watched it with that. Like, when I say um, like the obviously the cryptids and all the, the ghosts, mm -hmm. and then I say the non-physical side of it, is it like just not just like a, a multi-dimensional universe? That we can't see because we can we can only see so much of the spe the light spectrum, Correct. can't we? Correct. What, what what's to say is there's not another world like in with ours. Obviously, we just can't see it. We Parallel can't. to ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. A bit like the Matrix. Yeah, yeah. Type. I mean, the thing is, though, fringe. <laughs> you will you will know when you pass. Yeah. Well, you know, but it's like this is the, this is the thing. I I have had so much evidence, and I've been you know. You know, working as a spiritual medium, psychic medium, um, I've obviously had a lot of information given to me, passed on to people that I'm reading for and everything like that, that have been so accurate and I don't even know who they are. I never met them before or never spoken to them before. Because people have to realise is um, the work I've been doing on Ask the Answer and the work I do on Ask the Answer, um, I only get, hello, you're through to Ali. Can I have your name and date of birth? Yeah. Yes, Sandra, and then their date of birth. I was just about to ask you about that. You're in the question. You might have to carry on. I kick, you know. It's one of these, isn't it? It's one of these. Um, when you're doing those readings, Ali, on, on the telephone, is yeah. it harder? because you can't see the person or is it um, easy to see the person to me i am um, no it's no. not easier it's not easier it's not harder it's mm. just the same because it's all energy yeah right i am connecting to a voice vibration i am connecting to a name i am connecting to a date of birth all energy right mm. a lot of people will say well how come a date of birth is energy it is energy because everything is energy. 
right? Yeah. And energy, energy is everything. So I'm connecting to energy. So I'm working with energy of a specific source coming from a specific source, coming mm -hmm. from a specific soul. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I'm hearing this voice vibration. I'm then connecting in. So I'm connecting via mental mediumship, which is with my spirit team from the non-physical world. Okay. And I'm connecting psychically. I'm connecting universally to the higher universal energies and systems. Right. I'm an energy, you know, to collect information. So when someone said, love reading, I'm working with the tarot as well at the same time. And I'm shaking my tarot deck and I'm connecting to energies and blah, blah, blah. then information comes. I give, I deliver. There's a thing called search. Communication, evidence, reason, tie up. These are all things that all these mediums and psychics should know. Mm. Giving readings. Because mm. you don't just you don't just go, I get the color blue with you. <laughs> oh I've had that. I've had so I'm obsessed with readings. I, I and this is what some people will say. Surely, surely, and this is na naive people here, right? Because people will say, surely, reading somebody and doing a reading for somebody in person is going to be a stronger connection. Yes and no. However, I have seen people giving people readings, you know, face to face that have gone, oh, I feel that uh, you've got uh, ill health and that there's a stick lying next to the person. They've come in with a stick. Oh, I feel they've you've got some kind of disability, kind of well, for sake. They've got a stick. They're yeah. you know, yeah. eh, fucking hell. Because there's a lot people could read through your facial expressions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, if you're saying, if you're re reading me and you're saying, um, I feel you had um, I don't know. Okay, um. I feel actually there's there's, a, there's 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 one that tried. It was really funny. I'm oh, sorry. I, <laughs> my head. Could you imagine my mind? <laughs> uh, you know, could you imagine? Imagine the little neuron people yeah, inside it. Going, it. Fuck, <laughs> it out. In the mind of Ali Key. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but let me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, re I resign. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, what was I talking about? Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of people, it's like you, you can tell a lot from, like, say, for instance, you, you say to me, um, "Oh, I, I got a feeling that you used to do singing, right?" And I go, "Oh, what? Yeah, mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm onto something. I'm onto something. Singing. Well, you're on X Factor." Okay. <laughs> um, didn't get past any stages. Yeah. One stage. One yeah. stage. That was it. Do you know what I mean? Cut off. Get them off. You know what I mean? But <laughs> it's facial expressions. Yeah. You can tell, yeah, you can tell if someone is enjoying a conversation or if they are kind of going, you know what I mean, or yeah. whatever. Over a phone, you've got nothing to go on for any sort of readings. You're working with energy, right? Yeah. That is basically what you're doing. And mm -hmm. I always say energy doesn't lie. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's some things I've said to people that, remember the person I said that their husband's going to have an affair and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. I got told, you know, full of shit, you know, this, that. Guess yeah. what happened? Yeah. It happened. She came back and yeah. apologised. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I, I yeah. had a lovely, I had a lovely connection to someone's daughter in the non-physical world during Spookfest 2012, and the lady will will always remember that message I gave her, um, and I will always remember that message because it nearly, you know, I think it did actually make me made me cry, it was very emotional, because it was it was it was a child and it was very sad, but mm -hmm. it was something again out of one thousand two hundred people. How would I know this kind of stuff? Yeah. Do you know yeah. What I, mean? 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't have ever known that. Out of 1,200 people picking out someone, oh, by the way, over here, you know, mm. this is what's happening. And they're like, oh, my God. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, it, this is what I mean. It's like, it's not cool to be a psychic medium. And a lot of people just all of a sudden just go, they psychic just medium. A... They just become it. Yeah. They become yeah. it. And we, yeah. we've seen it. We've seen it with yeah, multiple. Yeah. We've seen it with multiple people. So I'm going to share. I'm, I'm, hopefully, I'm hopefully going to share my screen with you. I'm going to share, we'll look at some of your YouTube videos if you want. Yes, and you'll see a red line on it because I've been watching. I've been watching. <laughs> been watching you all. Ah, right, let me see how it works. Let's share screens. Can we do it? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? Couple no, I'm just, I'm just going to share your my out of screen. Hopefully. And what? I need the glasses on. How did you do it last time? I'm hopefully going to share our screen if I can. Share screen there, look. The green one. There we it. go. Right. Oh, there can, you, we go. can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. there we go. So this is so this is Hontex. This is this is your guy's YouTube channel. Yes. Hontex yes. TV. And we just want to basically ask you some questions about your, your videos, basically. Yeah. Absolutely. Red line. Red line. What we watching it? Are we watching? <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for watching it. That's got no red morning. lines on that one now. When I'm so, oh, oh, we're laughing. Oh, what? Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously, you have um, haunted. What? You're not even subscribed. You haven't even hit the bell. Blood. Yeah. Oh, we're subscribed. We haven't hit the bell, though. Well, no, that's right. but you don't have to do that. Oh, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know if you have to, you have to do that or stuff. Yeah, what's that do? I don't Basically, know. Uh, you go on YouTube. <laughs> You put um, Hauntex TV, I'm, I'm guessing that's right, isn't it? Hauntex TV into... Hauntex TV, yeah. all one word. And it'll come up there, this is your little logo, and this is uh, your videos. So your latest one, this is this haunt, this Lake, Lake House one, is it? That's it there, yeah. Haunting of Lake House. Yeah. No. Oh, this is, it. this is the best <laughs> intro I've ever done, ever. <laughs> Oh, Sadie's voice. Oh, she's so spooky. <laughs> <laughs> we just want it to be different. Not different yeah. because everybody, everybody else does it, don't they? But we wanted to kind of just up the antics a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. I just, I, I enjoy filming stuff and I enjoy editing. And I have taught... Yeah myself how to edit it didn't take you too long to do this one no it? It, it didn't really because i mean the thing is i've, I've had a lot of experience in right now danny allen's given me a lot of pointer lady lane's given me a lot of pointers i liked when i put my own voice into it you know um the part where you say about whoever comes who's made themselves known and then all of a sudden it will come in and i made it sound like i mean that bit that my, my voice in one of it it goes because i i lowered the tone and it goes join us <laughs> <laughs> that was just lowering my tone yeah um, but no we just made i just tried to make things different it's like this was all during the day by the way yeah this investigation yeah. because it was just just to prove to people as well you know you can investigate during the day there's you yeah know what I mean? like, there's no yeah. rules this is the thing. No. People want you to think there's rules. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, it's weird, isn't it? There's no rules. Apart from, okay, look at the hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I decided I'm going to dye it again. Because I thought... I'm the same. I don't know. I look like Jeremy Beadle. What can know. people expect from your, expect from your investigations? The what, sorry? What can people ex expect from your investigations? Well, the truth. The truth. Expect the unexpected with the whole yeah. TV experience. Yeah. That's what I always say. But there's another thing you say as well. Oh, when is you're it rude? out, just as you, it's it rhymes what you say. Spirits from the north, south, east, east and the west, west. Please come to this place <laughs> and do your best. Your best. That's it. You need that on a t-shirt. Do you know what? Do you know what? I just I just picked that up as I went along. Um, and yeah. from 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 just years of doing it and um it's from a kind of like a a victorian kind of perspective they would they would say something similar on a ouija board years and years mm -hmm. ago in the victorian times they'd ring a bell 
they'd clap their hands, they'd knock on the table and stuff like that. So it's kind of bringing, like, that's from the kind of Fox Sisters type of era, I suppose. Yeah, that yeah. kind of, you know, thing of just, you know, something different. You know, it's yeah. better than just saying, is there anybody yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> knock once. I mean, think of copy as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good of it. <laughs> oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's only so much that you can keep asking. Yeah, there is. And if right. you're not picking the story, you're not getting the evidence of a story, you just you do repeat. Yeah. You do. And, but everybody just the same thing. And people will say, I investigate better. No, no, I do. No, no, no I do. No. What are you all doing? What are we all doing? We're all, all asking the same things. question. That's is yeah, there anyone exactly. there? I am, to be fair, getting a little bit dubious. No, not the echo box. No, the, oh, the, the necrophonic. necrophonic app. Well, I don't I know. Someone is. However, at the, at, the, at, the, at the caves, it did something weird. The necrophonic mm. app became a ghost box. No way. And it started going. Yeah, it did. Um, and I was like, I don't think this app's meant to do this. Mm, I don't think it's we've weird. Yeah, we've, not, that, no. we've got we've got the necrophonic, yeah. Yeah, I know, but we've not had that. Oh, I would now not have that. We're going to just start like using phone apps. Do you, do you like, do you, what is the question? Yeah. Necrophonic, do you, do, you, do you use that the most? Do you like it? What do you like about it? And do you believe in these phone oh. apps? I mean, we do use it. Yeah. Since, quite, since it came out, we spent the money on it. Honest, I do get quite mardy over equipment. No, I'm, but, I'm not yeah. massively into You're not into it. No, I'm not massively into these apps and not a lot of equipment, to be fair. And there's I reasons am. for it because you don't like the PS11 when we had that. It's too noisy. <laughs> doesn't like the. Yeah. Yeah, no, that irritates doesn't me. Doesn't like it. I think I'm getting with the necrophonic now. As you, the more you use it, it does spit out the same words from the last location. Like you know, the last yeah, location. Yeah. yeah. Like, like demon will come out, and it's like, mm. hang on a minute. There's not a demon yeah. here, and there's not a demon there, and there's not a demon there. Yeah. So mm. I'm starting now to get where it's irritating me a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but I am very much same with like Ouija boards, table tipping. So you're I basically you're basically the typical ghost hunter. So my my opinion with it is yeah. a ghost hunter will go out there and investigate the paranormal without any equipment. Yeah, mm. like proper go ghost hunter and have will be yeah. like you know evening without any equipment. Maybe so with an, please, maybe with a, a K two or an EMF mirror. Yeah, yeah. that's all they'll have, oh, or, or maybe TV, a recorder, and that's it. Yeah, yeah that's, my, that's my favorite. My thing. opinion is Ghost Hunter is simple. Go forward, a bit rough and ready, not scared of shit, and just go and do it. Yeah. Right? Paranormal investigators more, hold on. I'm <laughs> going to set up my equipment. Yeah, six hours yeah. later. Six hours later, that equipment picks up a fair call. Mm. And they go, oh, it's not haunted in here. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah. But... <laughs> You, I, you go in with nothing it, yeah. half the time. Yeah, I do. It's yeah, most part of that torch as well. I always say in every investigation, I'm always the one left at the back with no torch. Yeah, <laughs> or, same. Yeah. See, that's why we bought. That's why we bought the um, the Sony. Um, what do you call it? The CX three seventy or whatever it's called. Um, it's not the four K one. It's the one below that. Um, it's just 1080p, but that's fine for YouTube. Um, but it's it's but it's um, what's it called? Night vision. So yeah, we can yeah. just switch everything off. Yeah. And then just have that. But I just I just got an opinion of night vision is not exciting a lot mm. of the time. People don't want to see night vision from the start to the finish. You need to show different kind of you know. You've got to keep people. Yeah. Got to keep people interested. Do you know what I mean? Like, and this is the thing: is you've hard. got to keep people interested without doing what most people do, and that yeah. is without faking shit and without yeah. clickbaiting shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You know, well, you, you, I mean, let's be honest. That's what's happening, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And it's irritating and because it's not honest investigating. No, no, no. It's no, like twenty-four hour. Activity. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Activity from the start. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I think it's okay. kind of like, like it comes to like other like well, I do watch some um content from other YouTubers, but not not an awful lot. 
Oh, we all do. We all yeah. want. Yeah. Yeah. When you're in it yourself, <laughs> you kind of lose interest. And you, you go. Yeah. You yeah, you do. You no. question everything, no. don't you? Of course mm. you do, because you kind of know the truth. I'll be so, honest, watching you guys, though, I've not had that feeling of, mm, really? Because like, you, like, you can see it's an honest investigation. Not right. a lot happens, and you can, you can sort of see that, and you can go, yeah, I believe you guys. I, I can, I can see, you know. Nine to Ali, Ali, well, I can't put that up because you just sit there and you look bored. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> So, yeah, five hours later, I'm, yeah, I'm going to look a bit bored if nothing's happening. But there's so ways. Yeah. <laughs> there's ways of changing things up, though. There's, there's, And this is where, I suppose, there's an advantage <laughs> of being a psychic medium, I suppose, in, in a sense, when nothing's happening at all. And you can just yeah. go, right, OK, I feel energies over here, or well, oh, I'll see what I can pick. Sometimes it's like, oh, there's nothing. But it's oh, that's the worst. But sometimes you just have to switch off and have a laugh and a conversation, and then yeah, yeah. over yeah. here, yeah, we're yeah. still yeah. here. Attention. You know? yeah. Yeah. How many times we've been places and I've been so excited, mm. and Ali and he'll go, "There's nothing here." Nothing. Oh, like, yeah. I've I've I've, I've actually me? remember I did that on an event. <laughs> I did it on an event, yeah. say, <laughs> and I picked up, went to a room, yeah. and I went, and I went, and I went. There's nothing here, mm. and they went, what? And I got told what it was. I got told, look, Ali, you can't say that. I got told that yeah. as a, being a guest medium on an event, Ali, you cannot <laughs> say there's nothing there. And I said, why? It's the truth. And they went, oh, you can't say that. All the it customers were paid for this. Yeah, and he's yeah, going, yeah. Oh, there's nothing oh, I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie and just yeah. go, oh, yeah, there's uh, the woman behind you and yeah. she's got curly hair. <laughs> they, all, they all used to have curly hair, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. And they mirror. Mirror. Yeah. Mirror's here. Yeah. 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 So where would you say and, is the most frightening place you two have ever been? You've actually Fort gone. Ball. Oh my Fort god, Ball. it's my oh, Fort 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 Ball. Ball. Have you seen oh god, Jesus? Oh, we did, we did Fort Paul. Yeah, um, amazing. Whereabouts did you feel? Was it that tunnel? Was it tunnels? Tunnels, you know, the air through the tunnel and up around the back kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that was very active. How about the ones that went down? Yeah, yeah, so you, you, yeah, you, you go down, 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 down Stairs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I picked up on an Irish guy down there. No way. I remember that. And I remember being on the plane. And it, even though it was windy outside, it did something weird. But the most amazing evidence that I brought from uh, uh, Fort Paul was Lady Diana. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. Princess yeah. Diana. I picked up on Princess Diana's energy, connected to a train. And then a guest said, Oh, yeah, oh my Australian. God, this is really weird because my dad used to fix Lady Diana's boiler. No way. And I was like, oh, right. And then Lee, his name is Lee Dennis, he went away and researched everything and he found a link with that exact carriage to Lady mm. Diana. Oh, wow, that's good. Cool. Cool. And I couldn't believe it because it's like, I'm just coming away with this. Everyone's sniggering. And thinking, what's he talking about? Yeah, that's what people do think, don't they? They just snigger and go, yeah, yeah all right, then. You know, that's a big thing to say. Yeah. And then, boom, there was a link, and it was like, oh, I don't yeah. look like a tosser. Excellent. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it wasn't weird after all. You know, yeah. it's it's, I'd love, I'd love a night though where you can just go back. I, I, I feel like when you first started investigating. You was a lot more frightened than what you are now. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You that. know them believe nights. More. Yeah, you did believe more. Every knock, every sound. Yeah. <gasps> to me, you know? those were the best nights. <laughs> yeah, same. As the years yeah. have gone on, and you don't experience that as much, and you just huh? want one of them nights back. You know. Yeah. You just want a night where you think, oh, my God, to bring it all back to you again. I remember yeah, I remember when venues used to say, just a donation is fine. And if you could write a report about your investigation, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Mm. And now it's like, money. give no. us a thousand pounds. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. 
and it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It is. It's it's all cash, 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 cash. Yeah. But yeah. that's the way of the world, isn't it? You either, if you want to do somewhere, you either pay it or you don't. Three minutes left. So okay, three minutes. <laughs> have we got one more question, or should we just? I, I was going to say. I mean, you've been in this for years now, and I, but I think you've kind of already answered it. But I'm going to answer it any ask you it anyway. How do you think it has changed the paranormal? In three yes, minutes. No. It's it's it's, it's, it's 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 not changed in in the the way people are. No, um, it change. that'll never ever change. Um, because everyone's going to want to be famous, and everyone's going to want you know they don't care about the money really. It's just they want fame. They want to be known and everything like that. that's never going to change i think as well a lot of people are in the paranormal not for the right reasons yeah they're, they think it's an easy fix and it's an easy way to get on youtube or yeah get it's an easy way home. to get monetized yeah yeah, yeah. Um, you know but they're, apart from that a lot's not changed mm, we've just kind of stepped the price of venues people. price of yeah. venues. yeah we yeah, yeah we, we 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 kind of just step, step away from the, the the wrong people and step yeah. towards the right people yeah um, yeah, yeah. That's, drama. that's why we're doing yeah. this podcast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. With the yeah, right, yeah. with the, yeah. and I'm not just saying that. That's not just saying that. That is just a genuine fact. Luke's a woman. That's what. what is, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it is, isn't it? It's, it's, it's changed, and venues have got more expensive, more greedy. Yeah, you know. Uh, I, I, people still want to be there. It is. They're just all fame hungry. And they're using yeah, the yeah. paranormal as a leg up to become something and then go on to yeah. do something else. And explorers are now making it as explorers and then going to the paranormal because yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like it's it's never gonna change that way. But they don't yeah, like, a go, like I say, it's a go-to for become famous. Yeah, it is. And Especially nobody is. becomes and nobody becomes famous. No. no, they don't. They think they do. Some think yeah. they, that they are. I think some, some people think they do. And this is where I laugh, because some people think I think I am. And I'm not at all. Mm. Not at all. I'm just me. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's one of these. People, you know, it's, it's, it's one of these things when you've been in something for so long. I've seen people come and go, come and go. And then when people say, I've been doing this since this. No, no you haven't. I don't remember you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, yeah, I have you. And I'm quite yeah. happy to say, I'm quite happy to say I've been doing it since 2007. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah it's we, don't, we don't add 20 years on. No, years. we don't. And that's what no, people no. do. Yeah, I've been doing it for yeah. 40 years. Oh, yeah. have you? Yeah, they've been like three. But you're 40. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. You've been in nappies, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like people when they say, I've been a psychic medium since I was three. You know what I mean? You're like, what? Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's, 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 and the way of investigation is always going to be the same. Hello, is there anybody there? That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, just one last thing. Who are you and where can we find you? We are Hontex TV. <laughs> and you can find us on YouTube. That's <laughs> Hontex TV. H A U N T E A. Oh. <laughs> Quick game. Oh, no. <laughs> Lost him, just lost him, just as soon as he was about to give off his last. Uh, what his is, last, uh, is it? <laughs> Wait, what is it? Haunt X TV. Uh, no, not oh, Haunted X. X. Haunt X. H U H A U N T E X TV. Obviously, with, with Zoom and that, you only get three 40 minutes sessions. We've done all that free already, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not willing to pay the 100 quid a year. <laughs> Just for a few. But I'll have a lot to edit there. I'll have a lot to work with there. It's a good interview. Yeah, he chats a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah thank, that's thanks. That's what you want, isn't yeah. those answers? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Good answers, good, good, good guys. Good, so good YouTube channels to check out. So yeah, basically down to earth investigators. If you want to check them out, like I say, Context TV, Facebook, YouTube, All Ali, Ali Sadie Key. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks again, Ali, Ali and Sadie, for coming yeah, on. Thanks. 
Yeah. When you've been with us two and a half, two and a half hours. I think that has to be yeah. the longest interview we've done so far. That's that, we'll blame Ali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it broke record, no, we broke the record in being first to come on the podcast with us. Because he says it was the first time he's done Oh, he's done the first one for a bit, yeah. And first for us in terms of length. Yeah, it was, yeah. We didn't even finish all the questions. We didn't. We didn't really have to ask nah, a lot of questions. Nah, it was good, it's good, it's good interview that was. So it made Question our job easier, it, yeah. didn't it? Because we could just sit there and listen. Just sit there, yeah. <laughs> so I'm happy with that, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. Hopefully we'll be meeting up there on Friday, maybe, film a bit of yeah, an investigation uh, somewhere. Yeah. See what we can get up on that YouTube as well. Yeah. So, yeah, so, that's yeah. it, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, no, sorry. We usually have, I tell you, we usually have a Glenn. But because of me pre booking this without telling Glenn, I, f I forgot to mention it to Glenn. So he's upset. And he's, he's, he was at work anyway, and I, I, I totally forgot to send him the, the dates and stuff, so that was my bad. Sorry, Glenn. But yeah, Glenn would usually be on it with us. But it's not. That's it. <laughs> That's yeah. it, but pretty much from us, guys. Right. We'll uh, see you next time. Yeah. Bye. See ya.